How is everybody doing? It is Kana Plays here, and I am going to be hitting you guys with a mini tutorial on how to form an army and Mountain Blade to Bannerlord. So, um, I've kind of broken it down, and it's roughly going to take, I don't know, give or take five steps or so. It's actually one of the easiest things you can do in the game. It's genuinely so satisfying to do as well. So, coming from a Warband, coming from experience with Warband, you know, it's just something you wish you've always been able to do. Um, it's definitely really well polished, so I love this aspect of the game. Um, ultimately, you're going to want to start with establishing an income. Um, an income can be established multiple different ways. I've actually made a video on this already. Um, it's not too detailed, but it's basically going over anything from caravans, prisoners, to um, just selling items that you get off of different mobs. Um, I didn't really discuss a little bit further on how you can make money beyond that, but there's definitely more coming, so I'm going to plan to make a few more videos soon. Um, but besides that, um, once you have some money rolling in, you have, um, you know, give or take 20, 30, 40k, whatever you can really develop. The money isn't the um, important aspect of it. You just need money for anything in this game. So if you want to have troops yourself, you're going to have to have that money. Um, anyways, you're going to want to join a kingdom. That's going to be your second step. It's, it's very simple, straightforward. Um, once you reach clan level 2, I went under clan tab, your tier 2, um, you'll, you'll go ahead and be able to join pretty much any kingdom that you're not at war with um, like say say you're at war with a kingdom they are not at war with you cannot join their kingdom so to, to fix that you just ride your ride your way over to the kingdom you're at war with find a lesser lord that's gonna clearly lose and or I mean if not whatever and try to just pursue peace so if you can't pursue peace and you're gonna have to whoop their butt until you can't <laughs> I'm not too sure it, it happened to work in my favor and I could I was able to pursue peace and join a different kingdom because I actually started in Sturgia, and now I'm in Britannia because Sturgia had very limited amounts of mana. So, um, anyways, after you join a kingdom, um, there's going to be your pretty much number one goal to just gain influence, um, win battles, and take chiefs. So that's kind of two steps in one there. Um, you gotta you gotta win battles. You gotta fight people better than you. You know, um, fight 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 groups of men that are 20, 30, 40, 50 more men than your group and then you'll start to see more influence come in. Taking sieges and things like that, it's usually like 20 influence, renown, and morale. So it's huge for your party to actually do that, um, to go and take take battles in your own hands, you know what I mean, before you actually have an army. You have to get out there, do the grunt work, get some influence. And so once you have influence, um, your last step is to pretty much summon your troops. So I've already kind of accumulated my own my own setup here. I actually have troops that I can summon without spending any influence and the way you do that is by hiring someone in a tavern and then having them run a party themselves um, within your clan so um, you know I have Chandion the robbers party who has 45 men you have to have more than 20 men I think you have to have 40 actually um, to actually summon anyone so but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to summon and then you know we'll just kinda leave it from there maybe I'll make a video on how to siege or something but uh, ultimately let's go ahead you open up your kingdom tab sorry I just opened it and closed out of it um, there's only one other army that's a good thing sometimes there's armies where they have thousands of men or whatever already and all the men are in, in the kingdom are taken um, I can force this army to disband for some reason it doesn't take any influence to do it either so if I really wanted these men I could tell this dude like enough I need these men but look at the pool I have here so this is why I joined um, this exact kingdom um, they have real tons of troops so I am gonna come in and grab Chandion so it only take you three hours to get to me real quick the closer ones the better of course but we have um, 15 hours here for the 110 and then let's do maybe just one more 65 so this is gonna cost me a lot of influence I have 76 and I go down one per turn. So what you want to do as soon as you have this army is just beeline, beeline straight for anything you can and destroy it all because you're going to want to make your influence back as soon as possible. And I'm actually going to summon this guy instead so it's cheaper. Um, but yeah, this one's 28. Just kind of overviewing all the different influences, seeing which one's like the best option to go for. Um, but yeah, so then you just hit done, hit done. And then what you want to do is you just want to wait a bit. You'll see this man's going to form onto me. It's actually cooler to wait outside of the city to see your number stack and to see your army form. So here's my army. I'm already at. This is actually all my troops. You know what I mean? So it feels really good. If you wanted to build a, an army 
larger than you currently have and field it without even ever dealing with another faction or kingdom, you can do that. I just find it the easiest way to get started is to join a kingdom. So let's leave this on and see how long it takes for our men to get here. Takes a little bit of time, but it's always worth it. Here comes 101. So they'll run straight to your position. I don't know if you leave, if that affects it or what, but we're waiting for just one more man. I think it's, he's right here, Aragon. Here we go. Or Air, Air Geon. Air Geon. Either way. So yeah, now we have a giant ass army. Let's go ahead and send it straight towards the enemy. And I'll go ahead and make a video on how to siege. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.